Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy Monday to everybody. Uh, I am uh, jumping on here today. This is part of the Triple S VEDA Challenge. VEDA stands for Vlogging Every Day in August. And uh, today I want to talk about the power of mentoring. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Hey, good morning, uh, Victor. Uh, a little bit about my story about mentoring. Uh, the fact that I grew up, uh, my dad uh, passed away when I was uh, probably nine or ten years old. And, um, and so I was left without uh, that kind of figure in my life. Uh, but I also grew up uh, kind of dirt poor. I uh, grew up in Brooklyn, New York. And um, neither of my parents had graduated from high school. And so I have no pedigree, if you will. I have no, um, you know, background uh, with anything. I had to develop kind of everything on my own uh, because I had no, uh, I just had nobody that was, you know, pouring into my life at that time, even as a kid. Uh, but when I started to become a teenager and I started attending youth groups and things like that, I was, went to camp quite a bit. And so a lot of my mentors were youth pastors, camp counselors, guys like that who stepped into my life to kind of take over the role uh, that had been left vacant uh, in my own life with my dad's passing. And, uh, and so what I discovered, at least for, for this, and it probably had a lot to do with me becoming a, a pastor and a minister myself, um, the fact was that I had guys that would say, hey, good morning, thanks for jumping in. Um, the fact is that I, had, uh, I, I did not have a ton of mentors, but the mentors I did have were good mentors. They were guys who took me along, took me, I mean, uh, I, I mean, I had guys who, uh, my love of books today is probably due to the fact that I had a, a, a youth pastor that let me borrow any book on a shelf anytime I wanted to. Uh, my love of books came from that. My love of, um, of just communication and sharing with uh, people and uh, and really loving uh, unfortunate uh, people that are in unfortunate circumstances and really reaching out to people came from one of my youth pastors. Uh, one of my other, my, my um, very first uh, youth pastor uh, really kind of developed a... Um, uh, an inner core, if you will, of uh, my love of music, um, uh, leadership. He, he was really the first one that saw a lot of leadership in me. Uh, and they all did a lot across the line. And so I've had some, and, you know, and so I don't know about you guys. Do you guys have mentors currently in your life right now? Those of you that are watching in Periscope uh, Universe here, do you guys have mentors? And if you do, tell me, tell me who it is and what are, they, what are they mentoring you in, if you will. And I have to put my glasses on because I'm as blind as I can be. So... Anybody, anybody care to share? Anybody having a mentor or you have a mentor right now? Or if you don't have a mentor, uh, you know, that's tough. I know it's tough to find one. The older you get, I mean, I'm, I'm 47 and I'm still looking for mentors. In fact, it's okay to have mentors. Sometimes we have mentors that we never meet, right? Like for me, mentors I've never met. Uh, C.S. Lewis uh, is a great mentor in my own spiritual development. Um, I think of Henry Nuon. I think of Seth Godin, uh, Gary uh, Vaynerchuk. I think of... Um, you know, guys that I'll, maybe I'll never meet, but these guys have mentored me through their reading, through their writings, through their, you know, today through YouTube and things like that. You find mentors along the way, people that you agree with a certain philosophy or a certain ideology of business or marketing or things like that. And so for me, uh, finding mentors, you, sometimes you search them out and sometimes they find you. And so I'm always on the lookout for a new mentor to, t to teach me something new. I never want to get so old uh, that I can't learn something new uh, from somebody. I know I've, I've developed my own system of things like many of you guys have, uh, but don't ever get too old to where you can't listen to somebody else uh, that is far more experienced. Uh, maybe they're a little bit older, uh, whatever it may be. So uh, I don't know if any, like I said, if anybody's mentoring you through books or through videos or things like that, but find a mentor. It's so important right now. Uh, I would say the other half of that equation is this, be mentoring somebody, even if you, even even if you just, whatever skill or whatever thing you have, uh, mentor somebody. Hey, good morning. Uh, find somebody to mentor. Um, I have some kids right now who really want to enter into the ministry. They want to be speakers. They want to do a lot of things. So I spend, I, I go to lunch with them at least uh, a couple of times a month. And I sit down and I talk with them. And I let them ask hard questions. You know, I tell them the truth, you know, behind these things. You know, that uh, sometimes there's that, you know, that, that you know, what's behind the curtain, kind of like Wizard of Oz, right? Well, I want to tell them what's behind behind the curtain because uh, these young guys that get into whatever they want to get into uh, don't know the truth about some things and I want to break that down for them and help them and, and, and they've been grateful for it and they've been learning and they're uh, adjusting uh, to how I do mentoring because I'm not their friend, I'm their mentor and so sometimes I tell them things that they don't want to hear uh, but they have stuck around so I say uh, good for them. So 
And don't be afraid if your mentor tells you something hard, okay? That's uh, that's okay. That's part of the process. It doesn't mean they don't like you or love you. Uh, that just means they're telling you the truth and you should take it and receive it. So anyway, well, that's my thoughts today on mentoring. Any final comments here from the Periscope group here? By the way, if you're watching this on my YouTube channel, uh, tell me about mentoring for you. Who's who's somebody that's that's mentoring you that's you've never met? Maybe it's through a video or a book or something like that. Or maybe you do have mentors in your life. Or maybe you have no mentor in your life. Whatever you're at, just leave me a comment down below. That lets me know that that uh, you're paying attention here and that uh, and that you're going to uh, we'll have a little discussion here and build our community through um, through talking about things like mentoring so and anyway if you're brand spanking new you've never watched this before uh, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button right there that gets these videos in your inbox uh, even these ones here on Periscope because I'll just upload it right after this and then also um, uh, like I said if you're a regular please hit that thumbs up button let me know you like the video and want more of them uh, I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day this Monday uh, go out there and find yourself a mentor uh, and then if, if it's uh, if it's somebody that you'll know you're never going to meet, go ahead and write them a letter and say, hey, thanks for all the good books. Thanks for all the good videos. Uh, thanks for uh, the stuff you wrote. Uh, even just post it on your Facebook. Maybe the, maybe your mentor's long dead like like mine, C.S. Lewis. I mean, I always put up quotes in, in honor of him sometimes and just say, hey, thanks. For, you know, that was a great quote and, and go from there. So anyway, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for this Periscope time. Uh, catch me tomorrow when I do the, another day 11, I believe it is, for the Triple S Beta Challenge, which is vlogging every Every day in August and uh, I'll see you guys then otherwise uh, you guys have a great day and uh, I'll see you tomorrow all right